Hey, today is Friday here. We'll keep it simple, nice and flowing to have an invigorating Friday to start our weekend. So, yeah, we'll do a lot of stretches, and a lot of breathing. So let's come to Parvatasana. I always have some tension in my shoulder, so I like making sure that you know I'm not holding any stress. So one way to do that is moving it forward and backward. Um, pay attention to your to the weight distribution of your body. Come in a hip distance apart, leg position. Distribute weight equally on both of your legs. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come to a prayer pose. Gentle back bend. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out and forward fold. So for breathing out and forward folding, I like starting the forward fold, touching my belly to the thigh and let my head hang. And you know, you can bend all the way, it's not a problem. Or you can gradually straighten your legs. Touching your hand to the ground, step back. This brings us to plank position. Knees, chest, chin. And then we can come to sphinx or up dog. I'm coming to sphinx. You can also straighten your hand, up to you. But don't shrug your shoulder up. Shoulder should be down. And then we are coming to down dog. For down dog, similar to forward foot. You can try touching your belly to the thigh, even if your knees are bent like crazy. And then from this position, slowly bring your leg down, touching your heel to the ground. And still having your belly closer to the thigh. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Right leg up, straight up. Look in between your hand and bring your right leg in between your hand. This is a starting of high lunge. We will come to low lunge first. So come to low lunge, gentle twist. Take breath, couple of breaths here. And then we will try Hanuman Asana. So for Hanuman Asana, back leg is folded, you're on your knees, and then the front leg, it's straight where your toes are pointing towards your face. So you can just be here and keep your torso straight, or like not hunching your spine, or you can lean forward. This gives a good stretch to your hamstring. Coming back to deep low lunge. So you can just stay here, keeping your torso up. I'm going to fold my mat because it's too much on my knee. You can do the same. Um, you can come to a deep low lunge. Deep low lunge feels nice. It actually also works on your glute, helps it to open up and also back of your thigh. Coming to a nice easy twist here. If this feels easy, can you do a prayer twist? Can you bring yourself to a high lunge? So you're in high lunge prayer twist. You can stay in low lunge or be in high lunge and then bring your torso up. If you see me, my Thighs are completely parallel and my shin is perpendicular to the ground. Now coming to a neutral high lunge to slide back bend. And then bringing your arms down, come to plank. So 
So we'll do from high plank to low plank. I'm going to show it on my knee. You don't need to do it on your knee. Actually, like I'm showing it for beginner friendly, friendly cases where you can do it on your knee. So if you're on your knee, you still can go low and then high. If you don't think you need to be on your knee, low plank, high plank. All the time, hold your core really tight. All right. Coming to down dog. Now left leg up. Left leg forward. Brings us to some sort of lunge flows. Uh, we decided we'll do low lunge because we did that on the other side. So you're in low lunge and we're going to come to an easy twist. From easy twist, coming back to neutral, we'll come to Hanumanasana, right? Again, this leg is folded on your knee and the front leg is straight, pointing the toes to your face. And you can recline if you want. Coming to a deep low lunge, lift your torso up, from here we'll come to normal like not a deep lunge but regular low lunge to lunge twist, can, we, can you bring yourself to prayer twist, so hold a prayer pose here. If you want, you can bring yourself to high lunge and bring your torso up. Still having the opening to the side and then face forward, uh, neutral high lunge to slide back bend. Bringing ourselves back to plank pose. From plank, we come to neutral tabletop. Now we'll do some cat cow. Cat cow, I'll explain what cat cow is. You breathe in and hollow your body out to make a lot of space from ground to your torso, like this area. You try to make maximum space there. And then you breathe out. Cow, shine your collarbone. Uh, Press your hips up too and your belly is sinking. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now you can just stay here, opposite leg, opposite hand up. Don't let your torso sag. Hold it tightly. Also belly, basically hold your belly tightly. So you can stay here or you can go tap to your side. One, two, three, four, five. Coming back to neutral. Right leg up, left leg forward. Breathe in. Tap to the side. One, two, three, four, five. Coming back to neutral tabletop, we'll come to child's pose. Child's pose, your big toe touches and your knees are a little apart. And then you spread your hand in front as much as you want and rest your head. Stretching your side, move your body to the right side, getting a stretch on the left body. Coming to center. Moving it to right. 
um, stretching your, moving into left side, stretching your right body. This actually feels nice. So I'm going to do some shoulder stretches. So come onto your belly. Lie down completely. Land on one of your cheeks. And then bring your head up, your shoulder up, and your hands by your side, but flying like a Superman. We are Superman without a cave. We don't have our cape, but we're still flying. This is really good for your back and shoulder. Coming down, land on the other cheek. Come back to Superman again. And this time, can you also lift your leg, both of your legs. Bring your cheek down. Bring your arms forward. We'll do a baby cobra. Again, the tension is you don't let your shoulder rise up. Rather, press it down to have your collarbone shine through. Open your chest. And can you keep this posture and let your arms go? Be gentle. It could be loading on your lower back. So do as much as you're comfortable. Or even forget it, you can just land your hand. All right, coming back to child's pose again. Now we'll do a bunch of standing flow. So come to down dog. Right leg up, right leg forward. We will make the left leg fall in a 45 degree angle to come to warrior one. Warrior one. Take deep breaths. Keeping your body exactly like this, just move your torso to open up to the side. And that brings us to warrior two. Look straight to infinity. Or you can look at the top of your finger as well. And then from here, we'll actually do a reverse warrior. So your hand could be anywhere on your thigh, on your back of your shin, or like on your shin. And then we'll make the longest line possible from our toe to our finger coming to side angle. Still be committed in your front leg. And can you straighten both the leg, keeping your hips on the same plane coming to triangle. You should be in the same plane in all aspects. You can think about it as like walls are closing in on you. There are two walls coming. It's like a Harry Potter movie. Walls are closing into you and you have a very tiny space, lateral space that you have to squeeze in. So could you do that? Not jutting your butt in or out. Excellent. Coming to plank. Stay in plank. Lift your right leg. Now can you bring your knee to your right upper arm and stay here. Take five breaths. Bring it back. Now the other side. Left leg to left arm. Taking five breaths again. Coming to plank. Come to down dog. Now left leg up, left leg forward. Coming to warrior one. You can check out the thighs are parallel to the ground, the shin is perpendicular, and your body is facing the front. So this is our warrior one. And your back foot is in 45 degree angle. 
Can you open up to the side, keeping your legs as is, just opening up your torso. And look forward. Oh, sorry. We'll do a reverse warrior. To side angle. Side angle, my goal is to have the longest line possible from my finger to toe. Triangle. Coming back to plank, down dog. We'll repeat the sequence except we'll add half moon. Right leg up, right leg forward, warrior one, warrior two, triangle, uh, sorry, side angle, triangle, and then you can take a help of anything or not, bringing yourself to half moon. So how, for half moon, notice how I'm trying to put my body in one line from head to toe. I'm actually making a mistake of pointing my toe not straight. So ideally, your the leg that is down should point to your mat and not be in any angle. Cool. Now coming back. Actually, the days we take it slow are good days because then you can focus on your posture and make sure you're getting the postures right. So coming to down dog. Left leg up, left leg forward, warrior one, warrior two, side angle, triangle, you can by the way touch the ground as well, I like actually uh, not breaking my like being on same plane thing so if you can like respect the fact that you know you shouldn't be leaning forward feel free to touch wherever you want to down on your feet or shin or thigh okay now from here I'll come to half moon but pay attention that my toe should forward face straight forward And then I should have a line, like a straight line from toe to my head. Hold it for a couple of breaths. Bring down to plank. Come to a sitting pose, just to add a little stretch. I'm in Padmasan, you can be in Sukhasan. Actually, I can also be in Sukhasan, just to demonstrate. Uh, I'll stretch a little of my uh, neck. But my legs are, all, neck are always a little tight, so hold your ear and let the head fall. On the side, you have arm support and stretch your neckline on the left side. The same thing on the other side. You shouldn't hold tension on your head. The head should actually relax and rest on your arm. And then we'll do some side stretches. Wanted to do a few standing poses, maybe at least one flow. We're a little tight on time, but maybe we'll do a tree pose. So for tree, this is an excellent tree pose and you can just be here. If this is too simple, you can bring your foot here, but never on your knee. If this is also too simple, you can come to um, half lotus and extend your branch.
gently unwind your leg. Now, as you can see, I just have my leg folded and I'm going to use this to come to a gentle twist. So right leg up, left leg, uh, right leg up, left hand on the right knee, gently touching actually outside of your thigh and look back. We are going to go straight to warrior three from here. So hold a prayer. Can you kick back gently? If you can't keep balance, please hold a wall or a chair or the floor, whatever suits you. But pushing the leg back, you're coming to a T shape. Um, yogis, feel free to add twisted half moon. I'm not adding, but giving you guys cue. Bringing the leg forward. Now straighten this leg up. All right, bring it down. We'll do the other side. Actually, first we have to be in tree pose. So come to the tree you prefer, anywhere that you like. I actually did a uh, half lotus, so I'll do that. from half lotus. If your knees are folded, you should always be very gentle on your joints. So, Taking it out nicely, have your legs folded. Can you look back? Coming to neutral and then push your leg back to come to warrior three. You can come to a half moon rotation if you want. So I'll just bring my leg forward and lift it up. All right. Come to seated posture. So add a dandasana. Literally just sit straight, having your legs forward. If you want, you can fold, but folding is optional. Now I'm going to come to bridge pose. For bridge, lie on your back. And then from your, uh, you should be able to, sorry, you should be able to touch your heels with your finger and then lift your hips up. You can bind your hand also. Bring it down. You can go for a full wheel. I'm just going to do another bridge. Excellent. Come down. We didn't do any inversion. So legs up. Again, inversion is any time your uh, feet are above your head. Bringing it down, we'll come to supine twist. Right leg on top of your left leg, arms out. Let your leg fall on one side and you look the opposite side. Have your shoulder pinned to the ground. Bringing it back. Left leg on top of right. Let the leg fall on one side. You look opposite side. So we are in supine twist. Again, these twists are really good for digestion. You'll see what I mean in the morning. Come back. Um, now I'll come back to, I cannot come back. 
we can come all to a happy baby pose. I, I guarantee you when babies are happy, they actually do this. And my baby does this. And then can you stretch your legs out? Nice. And now let's come to our favorite pose, which is Savasana. Can you take your soul out of your body and watch yourself from outside? Is your tongue relaxed or is it holding tension? How's your breath? Are your legs holding any tension? Let the feet fall on two sides. Should be completely relaxed. Now coming to your favorite side. Come to a fetal pose. Gently come to a comfortably seated position. We'll close our practice with th three deep breaths. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys in another class. Bye.